whatever the issues are, one of us should be able to help with it. And uh, we've always kind of worked together, but we've never had this moment where we're each elected. She's a member of the Prince George's Council. He's a soon-to-be congressman. Glenn and Jolene Ivey have long been considered a powerhouse couple in local politics. And their son Julian followed their footsteps when he became a delegate in the Maryland General Assembly. Now the three will soon be a bit of a rarity, a family with members in county, state, and federal government. Nothing should fall through the cracks, that's for sure. And you know what? We have conversations, we try and coordinate and make sure that um, if you know one level can't do it, maybe the other level is a good way to try. And trying to coordinate and work together, I think, makes sense. We try and do that with our colleagues anyway. It's even easier when we can do it over the family dinner. Some might call the Chevrolet residents a political dynasty of sorts, but the Ivies prefer to think of themselves as a family of public servants. CTV caught up with them last week while they assisted with a holiday toy drive. It's a privilege to be well known across the county. Uh, it comes with a responsibility because people are asking us for um, a whole bunch of different projects to be funded, so on and so forth. But it's a humbling moment. And, you know, the three of us have come together to try and figure out what we can accomplish together, uh, which of us should be handling what issues, so on and so forth. Uh, but ultimately, it's just to make sure we actually get things done for the, the community that has put a lot of faith into us. So what's a typical dinner table conversation like with three politicians in the family? I'm sure there are going to be times when we don't agree with each other on some issues. Uh, you know, Jolene and I have been married g getting up to 35 years now, so we've had a great marriage, but we don't always agree on everything. Uh, but I've, we've been able to work together on the marriage and in the community, so I think it'll continue to be positive. Well, we try not to talk about it too much over dinner <laughs> because we have other children and they're not all as focused on politics as we are. So you don't want to kind of dominate the conversation, but we do all have a, a similar interest. So it is hard not to talk about things. My mother and I, we were just reelected. Uh, there were a couple of different issues we weren't on the same side of uh, last term, but you know, we're family at the end of the, of the day. Uh, we're a close um, and, and very strong knit group. The most important thing though, uh, truly at the end of the day, uh, is that we do love each other a lot and that we're grateful for each other.